guys welcome back to my channel it's Lexi and today's video as you already know is going to be my compare and contrast of the paddle brush versus the Denman brush I have them both right here and I will list the prices on the screen of both as you know, this is my modified Denman brush. It looks like trash because I've had it for a super, super long time. If you don't know, I will put the video that I did on the Felicia Leatherwood brush versus the Denman brush up in the cards up there above my face. But today we're talking about these two brushes. If I recall correctly, the paddle brush is cheaper than the Denman brush, but I could very much be wrong. Yes, so if you don't know, this brush is like four or five years old. I've had it for 10,000 years and it's just tired. I actually bought a new one, but I haven't modified it yet. So I didn't want to bring it on camera with all the teeth. In the clips that I will show you guys of me actually using these brushes, um, I'm using this one, my old Faithful. So first, let's watch the clip of me doing my hair. <laughs> Okay, now that you've watched the clip, you can see that I was pointing to the Denman brush to aid in definition, which is the only plus that I have in this comparison series because the paddle brush did an amazing job at detangling. Let's get into the paddle brush. The paddle brush bristles are very movable the same way that the Denman brush bristles are very movable and it's very soft. The bristles are super soft. It's like a very thin plastic. Also, in looking at how much hair came out, not a lot of hair came out. Not a lot of hair came out of my head. I don't think that it really broke off a bunch of my hair because there was not a lot of hair in the brush after I actually used it, which I was actually surprised about. I thought that I was gonna have more hair simply because of all the bristles. But because they're so like easily manipulated, what is that, is that hair? Jeez. <laughs> because they're so easily manipulated, it, it wasn't any problem in getting through my hair without ripping the hair out. The major plus that I have for the paddle brush is that you can do a bigger area. You can definitely detangle a larger area of your hair. When you have thick, natural hair, this is good for larger areas. Now, if you're doing a wash and go, now if you want to do a twist out and you want your ends to curl better, you want to have more curl definition in your hair for whatever reason, as you saw in the footage, the Denman brush is it for definition. Remember that mine is modified. If you don't know what that means, I took three of the seven rows out in the middle. Therefore, there's only four rows which are equally as movable as the paddle brush. And they're just so, just so movable, so flexible. Like they really don't snag your hair like other brushes do. Now, if I had to say which brush I would buy and use continuously, I would still go for my Denman because my Denman is my, like, I just feel like it softens the hair better and it really pulls out all of the tangles. As far as the paddle brush smoothed my hair down, but as you guys saw, my hair was not as smooth as it was with the Denman brush. Now for curly girls, for kinky girls, for natural girls, I feel like we want to smooth our hair down. If we're doing a twist out or braid out, we want to have our hair to be smoothed down, get rid of all that frizz, and the Denman brush definitely gets rid of all that frizz compared to any other brush that I've tried. I will continue this series as long as you guys want me to. So definitely comment some other brushes that you see that are popular that you like to use and I will compare it to the Denman brush. Now, like I said, my only plus for the paddle is the large size and it definitely does detangle. I did not really have much faith in its properties, but it definitely does detangle. I will have the name of this brush. Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's called the Wet and Dry Ultra Brush. And I got it at Sally's. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. I'll be using both. I actually did both 
did both, did use both in this hairstyle that you guys will be seeing in my next video. In that video, there will be a giveaway, but the word giveaway will not be in the title for my real supporters. So definitely turn on your post notifications so you will know when I post that video and you can enter in the giveaway. And it's for some hair products, like duh. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, subscribe to my channel, obviously. Like this video, it helps more than you know, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.